The truly memorable audio experiences in games are the ones that have hooks in them that uh, you kind of want to hear over and over again. And that is very easy to get wrong. They will hear this about a hundred times and you just need to make sure that what they hear is interesting enough and has enough layers that they will never really get tired of it. We wanted a kind of intimate score and we were super lucky that uh, Knut Armstrup Haugen was interested in doing the project. When I was first approached to be part of this project, I thought it was very interesting that it was about Vikings. Scandinavians have a very rich heritage, both uh, historical and literary. And I thought it was nice to be part of a project that could show some of this heritage to the rest of the world. The game takes place not only in Scandinavia, but also in England and in Scotland, which opens up for a lot of opportunities to write some very nice music. I have recorded a lot of really interesting and unique instruments for this game. For example, I have recorded the goat's horn, which is uh, an ancient Norwegian instrument, and uh, Sissel Morken Gullor. She played that instrument on Disney's Frozen, and we recorded it in a, in a church to get the natural acoustics of the church. We have uh, many other solo instruments. We have vocals, violin, flutes, guitar, horn, and drums. And then we have a string orchestra nicely tying it all together. When I compose music, I always keep in mind that in the end, it will be performed by live musicians. Most people don't understand how much this uh, influences the music. In my opinion, the sketches that I produce uh, on my computer, they are not really the music. The music only becomes a reality when it's been played live. It doesn't really exist until it's been played. Well, it became clear that an optimal usage of this music would not be to completely tie it rigidly in with all the game systems, but rather try a collaboration where sometimes the music would actually be in charge of uh, the experience rather than the game. Sometimes it makes some bold choices, like now there's combat, now we have to have a combat music. You don't necessarily have to. Sometimes it's enough that people are just screaming. You know. Things are happening like the music doesn't have to be so close as long as it keeps you in the universe. The total audio experience of Expeditions Viking is now this awesome blend of hostile environments and beautiful music. And I just I can't wait for people to experience this.